I'm Eloise and this is my channel and for today's video we are going to be reviewing a brand new palette, well a brand new palette in my life. It is the Too Faced The Natural Nudes palette and I absolutely love the packaging. Big shout out to Danielle Roberts for suggesting this palette to me. She has a YouTube channel and she does favourites videos all the time and that is when I spend most of my money when I watch her videos because I just want everything that she loves. <laughs> So I bought this, it was £35 and in here you get 16 eyeshadows, matte and shimmer. So I believe there is an exact eight mattes, eight shimmers. And I just love the way that this is laid out as well. The fact that you get a really big pan of matte and then a little shimmer is just perfect. And another thing, the fact that it's got a mixture of browns and pinks. If you've been following me for a long time, you'll know I've always, always struggled with finding the perfect palette with neutral pinks and neutral browns because I just love both and I just want them in one palette. So I can just take one palette away with me and I'm really really impressed with this palette and this is one of the looks I came up with so I decided halfway through the video that I wanted to do two looks using this palette so the first makeup tutorial you will see is this brown smoky spotlight eye and then later on I'm going to do something a little bit more with the pinks so if you're interested to see how this palette performs on my eyes then make sure you keep on watching before you do make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe and all that jazz and let's crack on Okay, so excuse the hair, we are still wet. I am gonna film a hair tutorial today as well as a palette review, so yeah, excuse the hair. As I just told you in the intro, we are gonna be reviewing the Too Faced The Natural Nudes palette. I've never owned a Too Faced palette before, I've never had the chocolate bar palettes or whatever they were called. So yeah, this is a first for me and Too Faced palettes. But I love the way that it's been set out, it's so, so cool. This can be a new go-to palette for me, but we will see how it performs. Another thing that's great, it's got a really big mirror, so it's gonna be a really nice travel palette if I like it. I haven't tried this yet, but I have swatched a couple of the shimmers. I'm not gonna lie, a couple of them are a little bit crumbly. First of all, let me mention, I got this recommendation from Danielle Roberts. If you don't follow her on YouTube, make sure you do, because she gives always fantastic recommendations. I bought the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome, so that they're like the new updated versions of the Naked Flushed, and actually they're really beautiful, so I'll probably wear that today, so you've already probably seen the glow on my cheeks in the intro. But anyway, let's prime. I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, so I won't be a second, bear with. Actually, I might do two looks with this palette, one more brown neutrally sort of sort of look and then one more rosy tone that's literally just come to me so yeah we'll do two looks today i think what i want to do is like a really big blown out halo eye right so to start off with i am going to be taking the shade maple and see how that comes out so i'm going to take a really big fluffy brush this is the morphe r37 seems to be picking up a nice amount of product and I'm just gonna swirl that in the outer corner of my eye. That is lovely. That blends so dreamily. That is one dip and you get all that color payoff. Let's see what it's like to layer. Yeah, very nice. That is lovely. Okay, let's go into that inner corner. I love the um, warmth to this shade. It's a really pretty color. I believe this palette was 35 pounds. So actually that's a really good price for a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 pound palette from a kind of high-end brand. So yeah, 35 pounds for 16 shades. And the pans of the mattes are really big, especially when you compare it to an Urban Decay Naked palette, which has 12 pans. You also get a brush as well. They're 42 pounds. I feel like this is gonna be a very nice everyday palette. Literally just chuck a couple of colors on your eyes. You're not gonna be there forever blending. You get instant color payoff. I can imagine myself using this palette quite a lot. I'm gonna take a Morphe R39 now and let's go for truffle. Let's see how true and dark this is. Oh wow, that is rich. It's very nice. Oh, I love this. I did not expect to like it this much. I'm just going back in with maple, just to make sure they're both blended really, really nicely. This is literally two colours, guys. This is impressive. Oh, guys, I've started to work out again. 
So last week I discovered Courtney Black on Instagram and let me just show you. If you guys are getting stuck in a rut, you don't want to go back to work and have people think that you've put on weight because that is my biggest fear. Um, I've finally got my act together and I've started to follow Courtney D Black. This is her Instagram. She is a personal trainer and she does daily live workouts except for Sundays. So Sundays is her rest day. This week, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jesus, didn't know there was ten. Oh my God. So there's ten live workouts that she's doing this week and I've done three of them so far. It's Tuesday, so we did two yesterday and one today. There's two tomorrow, two Thursday, one Friday, two Saturday. So I'm, my aim is to do all of them this week. I did three or four last week, I can't remember. So I'm gonna try and do them all this week. And my God, they are so hard. They're so hard, but you feel incredible afterwards. My fitness level has improved so much after just six or seven workouts with her. Oh my goodness. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Let's go on to a shimmer. So one that is literally calling my name is sparkling sand it's a really pretty like cool tone sort of goldy bronze color so i'm literally just going to go in with my finger that's really pretty i'm just going to pat that in the middle straight up through the center and then with a clean finger i'm just gonna blend that top bit into my skin so i'm just going to go back in with my truffle brush and then i'm going to take I'm a bit scared to go in with shimmering pearl because it does look quite chunky. So let's just take a little bit on my pinky. Just want to really brighten up the center. Oh, that gives it a lovely twinkle. I'm very, very, very impressed with this palette so far. So I just went ahead and did my under eyes because my mind just went away with the fairies and I got distracted. So yeah, sorry about that. All I have is truffle close to my lash line and maple smoked out, so nothing too extreme. Um, but I did put a black in my waterline, it did a little smoky black wing and a brown inner corner flick. So I have done quite a lot of color, I'm really sorry, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look and I'm loving it. I think it looks absolutely smoking. So if you wanna see something completely different, a little bit more rosy toned, then make sure you stay tuned. I literally just talked through this whole eye look and it wasn't even recording. It's just one of those days today, guys. So luckily I have an eye free. Oh, but that is so annoying. Anyway, let's just get over it and do the other side. So I'm gonna take my MAC Bainterly Paint Pot to prime my lid. At least you've got a little sneak preview of what you're gonna learn. <laughs> it's so annoying because I never do this side on camera because it's my worst eye but never mind. Okay, so to start off with, I'm gonna take this petal shade, which is a really gorgeous, almost like baby pink peachy shade, I love it, um, with a Morphe R37, so a really, really big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner of my eye, right into the socket, and almost bringing it higher than your socket as well. Just so that you can still see that color when your eyes are open. I would be so happy just to put this shade all over my lid, stick a lash on and walk out the door. It's so pretty. I feel like it really brings a blue out in my eyes as well. Excuse the hair as well, I'm just setting. <laughs> I am going in a slightly winged out shape as well with this look because we do have that liner there. I do love this look though, isn't that so pretty? So soft and simple as well. Because I don't want this look to turn quite mauvey and cool toned, I didn't go in with warm rose, I'm gonna go in with cocoa, and actually it was the perfect match. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M514, and I'm just gonna hook this color into the socket of the eye, slightly lower than petal so that we get a really nice gradient, and just ensure that that is hooked right onto that lash line, so there's no gaps. Again, focusing these colors in the outer corner just to accentuate that winged out shape. I'm just loving that shape on my eyes recently. I feel like it's really, really flattering on everyone. I'm just taking a little bit more of petal just to really merge those two together. Okay, now I'm gonna take a Zoeva 231 and I'm gonna take Coco again. 
and I'm going to take this underneath, sort of halfway, and this is just prepping for that dark brown to go underneath. So we're going halfway. And then I'm going to take that R37 again and the shade Petal, just to buff that out a little bit lower. Gorgeous. Okay, now with my finger, I'm going to take the shade Rose Gold, and I'm going to tilt my head back and place this on the areas that there's no matte shades. And it's so, so pretty, this colour. It's got almost like a micro shimmer. So it really catches the light. And it really is a true rose gold. And I say it in almost every single video, but I'm taking this shimmer higher than my crease line so that when my eyes are looking forward, you can still see the edge of that shimmer. And it just gives the illusion of a wider, bigger eye. Love that shade. So, so pretty. Just because, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the intro or my last look that I did, but um, some of these shades are a little bit chunky, but I am going to give Glistening Snow a go for my inner corner. This is one of the chunky shades. I don't know if you can see that bit, it is kind of bitty. Um, so I put this in my inner corner. And it's one of those shades where you have to use your finger. If you used it with a brush, it would just flake off and fly everywhere. So you kind of have to like smush it into your skin for it to like pop if that makes sense but yeah when it goes on it's quite pretty because I don't have an angled brush to hand I've got this tiny little brush here it does the same thing I mean I got a pretty good wing out of it but if you've got an angled brush go for that and I'm just going to take truffle which is that really dark shade that we used in the last look and when I was using it in the last look I realized how pigmented it was I'd be able to do a wing with it so that's what I'm going to do. This is basically just going to be an extension of my waterline. So I'm going to go in the same angle. And doing wings with a eyeshadow is so, so much easier than doing it with a gel or a, a liquid liner. So if you are struggling with your wings, lay down an eyeshadow first and then you can draw over it with a liquid liner or a gel liner. So I've just gone in the exact same angle as if my waterline was to continue. And then I'm just going to join that back up to my lash line, just like that. And then I am going to do a really thin line across the whole lash line, just so that it helps to disguise my lash band. And then for the underneath, I'm just going to connect it and just go in that outer third. And that just really gives you that almond winged out shape and I love it. Okay, to finish off, I'm going to take the 24-7 Glide On Pencil where I've indicated in the shade Whiskey in my waterline, and I just feel like this accentuates that cat eye shape, especially when you go right into that inner corner. Oh, I've got hair in my eye. So what I'm going to do now is pop some mascara on and some lashes, finish my lip, and then I'll come back to show you the finished look, and hopefully I won't have these rollers in my hair anymore. <laughs> my hair looks like crap, so I decided to put a couple of pin curls in to see if it would fix it, and it didn't, so... Yeah, there you have it. So this is the finished look. I love this makeup. This is literally like my favorite makeup to do at the moment. It's soft, it accentuates what you already have. It creates just complete drama to the eyes with not having too much on and I just love that. So yeah, overall, absolutely love this palette. It is such an amazing, palette. I've never tried a Too Faced palette before and I've not heard amazing things but this one blows them all out of the water. This is just such a beautiful go-to everyday sort of palette that you can take away with you and have so many options. Although it's all neutral you can do so much with it. And I love love the fact that I finally found a palette that has rosy tones and brown neutrals in it. Oh! I am, I'm made up, I am made up because this is my perfect palette. Thank you so much to Danielle for recommending this palette because I am so, so happy that I went out on a whim and purchased. She knows her stuff. So anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed this kind of video where I do two looks or three sometimes using one palette, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.